It is time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Style of the Mega Tournament, where we are going to play what I think would be translated to be like Funky Friends, Funky Parties, or Funky Parties, Funky Friends. No, Funky Friends, Funky Parties. Um, I'm really glad, actually, that we're playing this game kind of back-to-back -back and not combined, but associated with Carnaxis. The games are kind of like similar, but in sort of a reverse of each other. Um, they both involve kind of going through life and making choices, whereas Carnaxis takes it very much on the um, economic side. Uh, funky friends, funky parties is more about the desire side and kind of like the other things you're doing. I don't think that money is one of the how many attributes are there? Nine different attributes you can have, but it's, there's not really any economics except for time, like you auction things for time. So this game is actually pretty economic as well. Um, and I think in one of the, the ways it's mostly an economic game is in these goals here that you have. So for example, here's a one that stands out to me, and I think it's Smudge's goal. Smudge has a goal here to be single and unhappy. Now you would think that most people wouldn't have the goal of being unhappy, but I think one reading of economic theory would be that if you end up being unhappy, it's because you wanted to, because behavior is the only like measure of desire, of what actually people desire. If you end up, this is the choice you actually made, then that's what you actually wanted all along. Anyway, I, I like that notion that people who end up unhappy are unhappy because they want to be unhappy. Um, this game, uh, Carnexus wasn't a great game to play solitaire, I found. It's, I think you kind of have to do a little more thinking <laughs> on each person. And I think this game might be the same way. So what you're doing is you have these goals. It's the first person to five goals wins. So it's that's also mirrors Carnaxis. For some reason, you attaining your life's ambition before other people matters. Whereas Carnaxis, you also have a life's goal, but that, as we saw last game, everyone got that. It's you just want to have more money than other people. This game, you want to get your, your time as the currency. You want to get to where you want to be first. Um, so they have their five goals that are just unique to them. And I think these are normally hidden. Um, I'm going to play as though they don't know what each other's goals are. But um, I just have it face up because it's easier and then you get to see them. Um, and then there's one global goal at a time. I think there's four of these total. So you can get those in any combination. You could get all four of these and just one of your personal goals and be done. So this game is played in kind of phases where there's cards up that you do stuff with. And um, this is gonna be kind of, we're gonna be just kind of hacking our way through this. I have a the German edition because the English one has some censorship. And I don't know, I, I just, I'd rather have an uncensored game. Uh, the cost of that is I can't read German. Um, I can I can kind of figure out what these mean because most, most of the important stuff is an icon. And there are a few, there's a few texts that are relevant, um, like, for example, on ta uh, Tater as in Tots card here, she has a little, like, asterisk on sex here. And, you know, I just used Google Translate to help me with that. It means she wants to have sex with three people of her same gender. So that's, it's, it's, that shouldn't be a problem. But the rules are kind of hard to read. Um, the translation's not perfect, and I, from what I understand, it's kind of unclear anyway. But basically what you're doing is you have to meet these requirements, right? And then you get some result. So if you have two, I don't know, is this enlightenment? Yeah, I think that's probably enlightenment. And you're married, and you have four friends. This is where your friends would be located. Then you get this goal, and you get to increase your fatness by one. So sometimes you might want to be fat for something else. So we're starting with the puberty phase. This is going to be people just taking turns either taking a card or uh, there's no requirements on them except, well, except for this one. You can't have had sex. And then getting the results. And that's going to be it. And we're going to start with Smudge as our leader from the last game and work our way through that. We're just going to kind of feel our way through this game. I've played it once in person, um, the English edition, I think, but that was many years ago, and I don't quite remember what you have to do with it. You know, it's it's 
not too complicated, but it just kind of how it's worded in here makes it feel more complicated than it actually is. Because it's really, you're just moving these things to meet these requirements, and it seems pretty straightforward. It's not that much iconography. But there's some weird stuff with telephones that, that's a... But, oh, and this, these rules are not called telephones, they're called complaints. So maybe you're call, calling them to complain that you weren't invited to something. It's used to get invited to a card that requires friends, if they're going to try to pick someone else. All right, let's continue. Let's get going. Ah. Okay, let's focus on Smudge and his goals, and then we'll look at his puberty choices. So he wants to be an alcoholic. That's this right here. He has to have three alcohol. Then he loses a relationship, I think is what that means, and he gets sick. That's something he wants for himself. He wants to be a casting director, um, so no spirituality, some sex, um, a friend, some alcohol, and no marriage, I think is what that means. Then he gets some money. Um, he wants to be single and unhappy, sick, no marriage, a broken marriage. A, so he has to have no marriage and a divorce, I think is what that's saying. Um, he wants to be sad and fat, and then he gets to have some alcohol. So that kind of, that could feed into this. So you can kind of like plan how you would do these in order. They kind of fit well together. He has several that, that, um, uh, require him not to be married. And there's lots of sickness involved. So here, I think that means you have a gaming group. Um, I don't know why a gaming group would end a marriage. I mean, I've been in, I guess... I haven't had much time for my gaming group because I have to be married, so I don't know. Maybe I, I could have had the gaming group, but anyway, so sickness, sadness, spirituality, fatness for friends, and then sadness <laughs> for um, to get psychiatric help. So kind of has to think about like what order he wants to go for those in. So now let's look at the the puberty options. These are just things that happen to you in puberty. So he could start out sick and with some drug use. He could start out with a friend and have having had sex. He does need to have sex and he'd also get a baby. That's not particularly useful to him to have a baby. Um, he could start with some fatness and some disease by, have, by eating. He could have sex. He could partner Oh, so this means partner of the opposite sex. You could get some uh, spirituality and some, uh, oh, a, a relationship, I guess. Yeah. I'm just trying to interpret this for you. And for me, he could find a mushroom. I don't know if I need to go through all these. So he's going to pick one of these, or he could pass. Now, if he passes, uh, he doesn't get to have any puberty experiences, but he gets six of these time. So the first person who packs gets six, and then five, and then four, you know, second person five, third person four, etc. So Smudge is going to take this dwarf disco. Um, I guess this just gets discarded after it happens. So he gets um, a little bit of alcoholism and anonymous sex. And I think he'll go with he's, he's not sure what, what kind of sex he had because he doesn't remember from the disco. I think you're supposed to choose because maybe you have a baby or something, but if it's the opposite sex. All right, let's go to Tater as in Tot. So Tater's kind of worked together as well. Um, she wants to come out of the closet as being a lesbian. She wants to have some sort of commune, I think. Maybe like a, a hippie-ish commune. And then what is, oh, she wants to quit smoking she wants to be a game designer, I think, is what that spielator is. And then vom Globen ab Fallen, and that is, um, she wants to lose her religion, essentially. So she's got to look at what sort of puberty experiences would help her attain those goals. She went mushroom hunting, which got her some drug use and some wisdom, I believe is what that stands for. Now we're looking at Cowboy. Cowboy wants to be a freak. He wants to start drinking towards the end of his life. Um, I'm not sure what this one is. Gemindir bait. Um, Gemindir bait. But he wants to have a lot of uh, spirituality, be married, and have four friends. So just be like, maybe like a happy retired person. I don't know, a wise man who's talking this guy's ear off. Um, I don't know what that means. Um, he wants to 
force someone to marry him or be forced into marriage because of pregnancy. And he wants to be poor but happy. That's what that one is here. So we got a lot of like spirituality going on uh, in his stuff. And wisdom, no money. So he just has to avoid money because he doesn't have anything that requires any money. He wants to have some sex. You know, this one might be a great one for him, actually, because it gives him the baby. Oh, but this one also gives him the baby. Then that would, yeah, so hmm, he's got to be careful. He doesn't want, he wants to get married via this card. So this one's going to have to come before that one, right? And this one would feed nicely into this one as well, the poor but happy. Um, and then this, this one, I guess, is going to have to happen after this one. So, and after this one. So we kind of have a, and then this one's just kind of on its own. He can kind of do this one any time. But these have to kind of go in order, right? That would help. So maybe ju -ju -ju -ju, kind of got his life mapped out. Now he has to just see how to make it happen. Okay, I think he's going to try to get this heavy petting. Now, how I read the rules is since he's not friends with anyone yet, he has to pick a neutral person. Um, now, someone else could use one of their telephones if they want to get in on this event. And I think that means they get the same things too because it's there's a lot of symmetry in this game. Um, so I have to stop and see if anyone wants to do that. I know there's some people like Kaz and Kat, she wants to have a family. So that might like go into her goal there. Cause she just has to be married. Oh, she has to have two babies. So it might be good for her to get started on that, right? Um, yeah, I think she's gonna wait, Ka. I think she'd be the one who might interfere with this one. I think she's gonna wait. She wants to save these. I don't think you can get them back. So, though I guess that's, the. these are the ways you meet the other players and you have one for each other player. So you can pretty much, if you wanna meet everybody, you wanna save it so you can use one for each person. I don't know if there's any purpose to meeting everybody. So anyway, Cowboy, he's going for this Frocky. Um, he's in love with her. And All right, let's take a, take a look at Sid here. She um, has a lot to do with sadness in a lot of hers um, and money. Money and sadness is what she's going to be mainly wrestling with. Um, so she wants to be a philosopher, which requires her to have no money and no... Well, and some sadness and some smoking and all that. Um, but then she wants to get liposuction, which requires her to have money. So, but it gets rid of her money. So she could maybe do this before that. Oh, but then it also gets rid of the fat. So fat's another thing she's gonna have to be weighing when she makes her choices. Um, Bezzy Hungskruppel, I, I don't know what that means. Um, but she has to have three divorces. That's gonna be tough to do. Because that means she has to get married three times. Um, also has, some, has to have some sadness. And then she gets more sadness. Um, she, she wants to be a millionaire, which also gives her more sadness. So sadness shouldn't be a problem if she can get any of her goals. Um, and she wants to write her memoir. So these, I think these kind of like fit together pretty nicely, which is kind of a cool thing. I wonder if any like random assortment of these cards fit together. Uh, let's take a look at, well, she's got to make a choice, and then we'll take a look at, I think she's going to go with Kiner Mog Mitch. Um, looks like you're just like a sad person. Again, I don't know what it means, but a dog pees on you. Like, things just don't work out for her, so she gets fat and sad, which is puts her well on the way to becoming a philosopher. Okay, so here we have um, Watermelon. Watermelon involves a lot of loneliness. She wants to be, well, not not actually feeling lonely because she wants to be enlightened. She um, just wants to be a great sports person, um, a Mac user, and then single and happy. So hers is like the reverse of um, smudges here, single and unhappy. She wants to just be happy with it. And then that's, she's going to find love through that. So she's got to kind of make sure that she does this one after this one. That's an important thing in her ordering. She wants to be a, become a Mac user. I guess to be able to use a Macintosh. I don't think that's that hard. I mean, the Mac is fairly user friendly. So you, you just, just have to buy one, right? But apparently you have to be really 
book smart or wise and fat and have a bunch of friends to become a Mac user. I don't, I don't quite understand that. I guess I don't use a Macintosh. Um, so yeah, let's see what she picks here. This one leads nicely into this one because it gives her this um, needle. It looks like money is a requirement for a lot of her things. So maybe she'll look at having some money, getting, getting some money going. I'm gonna take communion. That's gonna bump up her um, spirituality and her money. Because uh, that's like confirmation, I think, not like drinking the communion wine, but going through like graduating church. You're like, oh, you have done, you know church now. And so you get paid for that in both spiritual wisdom and through gifts. Well, we're going to end things off with Kaz and Kat today. Um, kind of running out of time. Uh, so she has family, which is fitting for her because she is the only real people card with another person featured in the card and that's presumably her baby. I don't think it's some someone else's baby. So her story could either be she starts off like getting married, right? And having two kids and then ending that um, because to be an Elvis imitator, which is another one of her goals, she has to not be in have a relationship. Um, I I have to look at if that icon means not not have someone here or just not have someone anywhere on here. So maybe that doesn't matter. Um, what else does she want? She wants to start a cult, and she wants to be a, some sort of druggie, I guess. I don't know what such dig is, um, and be a party girl. Okay, so this one doesn't. This one's kind of just disparate, weird elements. I guess the Elvis imitator could fit in with the cult, and I guess you could have parties having to do with that. And this all kind of works. But has the family? I guess family is kind of like a cult too. Yeah. Okay. It kind of fits. Not as neatly as some of the other ones. It's kind of. But I guess it's kind of a lot of weird things all packaged together, right? So it seems pretty clear it's probably going to be easiest if she goes for Elvis Imitator first, and then then she doesn't have to worry about, about not having or being, staying single, and then she can, you know, find love after that. So kind of her two best choices, it looks like, are either this other kind of communion, that's actually like drinking the communion wine, versus the that kind of communion. Um, and maybe... Uh, dyeing her hair green. Um, let's see. So it might just be a wash because the secondary thing, the, the alcohol is the important thing, right? The secondary thing is featured just once on all the and any of the other cards. I think we'll do this one to kind of, since we just did the other communion, we'll have her do this one. And bump that up and get some alcohol in her system. All right, and that'll do it for this episode of the Real People Multi-Game Sol Solitaire Mega Tournament. We'll be going through it faster next time, I think. But kind of helps me to talk this out. And it was sort of a getting to know you of these um, new character types that are laid over our real people types. Right? Yeah.